You are taking your puppy for an early morning walk in the park. The sun is not quite up yet and it's still a bit cool. As you're walking along, your puppy starts getting anxious and pulls on the lead to drag you forward. You laugh and think, what is he up to now? He sniffs into the air and starts barking. Suddenly, you notice something that looks like a bulky plastic bag. And this is the direction your puppy is pulling you in. A little bit concerned, you pick up puppy and move closer to the bag. Your curiosity gets the better of you and you bend down and slowly open the bag. And now you wish you hadn't. Because inside the plastic bag, wrapped in a blood-soaked towel, is a newborn baby, dead. Baby abandonment is a serious social issue in South Africa. Why do we read about babies being found dead or even alive, abandoned in stormwater drains, pit latrines, rubbish dump sites or bushes? What drives a person to leave a baby somewhere to die? Think of a 12-year-old girl raped by her father. She falls pregnant and she tells her mother about it. Her mother just yells at her and calls her a liar. You most probably had sex with a boy. Her mother kicks her out of home. Her community pushes her away. She's young, afraid, and alone. She has nowhere to go and she doesn't know what to do. Eventually, she gives birth. And out of sheer desperation, she leaves her baby under a bush, hoping someone would find it. But no one does. Abortion is legalized in South Africa. A child under the age of 18 does not require consent from a parent to have an abortion. But yet she requires consent from a parent if she wants to give a baby for adoption. Abortion is legal, but we are unable to safely protect the unwanted babies born from failed illegal abortions. But there is a solution. The concept of a safe alternative for desperate mothers goes way back to the Middle Ages where Catholic churches had foundling wheels. This was a rotating cylinder built into the church wall where a mother could leave her baby for the nuns to take care of. But this concept ceased to exist in the late 19th century. In the 1950s, a similar concept came about in the form of hatches or cradles. In the 1970s, India placed baby baskets outside orphanages. Door of Hope Children's Mission in South Africa is the first organization in the world to install the modern day baby saver. This was done in Johannesburg in July 1999. Not long after the Door of Hope installed the saver, the idea caught on in Germany, Eastern Europe, Asia, and spread across the world. And yet, why does an organization like Door of Hope receive an abandoned baby that was found in a hole under a highway bridge on the coldest night of winter wrapped only in a t-shirt? We received him because we're a home for abandoned babies. Yes, those exist. We received him to love and care for him. We named him Ezra, the Hebrew word for protect. Baby Ezra fought so hard, but his little body eventually gave up the fight. He died a few weeks later from severe pneumonia because his little lungs were so damaged by the hours of exposure to the freezing temperatures. Did his abandoner think he would survive? Did his abandoner want him to die? Did his abandoner have no other options? Restrictive legislation, poverty, mass urbanization, prostitution, lack of paternal as well as family support, 
rape, gender-based violence, and failed illegal abortions are all factors that lead to baby abandonment in South Africa. Unfortunately, there are no proper statistics on baby abandonment in South Africa. Varying factors make it difficult to get these stats. Not all babies that are found are reported. Their little bodies are just disposed of. And those that are reported are categorized under homicide or concealment of birth. There is no category for baby abandonment, and our current laws are reactive. They're not proactive. May this change soon. Private research done in 2010 and 2016 by child protection activist Dee Blackie showed that around three and a half thousand babies are abandoned annually in South Africa. And for every baby found alive, two are found dead. But how many are never found? And would we have the social disaster of baby abandonment if these parents knew about baby savers? What is a baby saver? It is a box-like structure generally built into the wall of a charitable institution where a parent can safely place a baby. It is fitted out with an alarm that alerts a first responder or caregiver of the arrival of a baby. There are over 40 baby savers in South Africa, all privately run and managed, but not many people know about these savers because in South Africa, these baby savers are not legally recognized and any type of abandonment is illegal. Even safe relinquishment. This means that a parent who safely places a baby in a baby saver can still face prosecution. Imagine if wanting to save your baby's life made you a criminal. Some even say that baby savers encourage abandonment. But this option is used as a last resort when counseling and assistance has failed or is unobtainable. Close to 500 babies have already been saved through these baby savers. But more than 4,000 babies have come through these organizations' doors. Proof that a baby saver does not encourage abandonment. It encourages safe relinquishment, anonymous or identified. But this is a fight that cannot be fought by one organization alone. So earlier this year, Dr. Whitney Rosenberg and I started the NPO Baby Savers of South Africa, which is a coalition of baby saver organizations to stand together as one to fight for legalizing safe relinquishment through a baby saver. After all, our constitution states that everyone has the right to life. Unsafe abandonment takes away this right. So what can you do to help reinstate these rights and reduce the number of babies being left to die? You can start by creating awareness around the issue of baby abandonment and a baby saver as a solution. Have this conversation with your family and friends, at your place of work, and in your communities. Imagine living in a world where no baby has to die from unsafe abandonment. That is the world we want to create. As Nelson Mandela said, there is no keener revelation of a society's soul than the way it treats its children.